Association Chairman Nicholas Mayu uh, says that they are in the process of seeking to be enjoined in a case opposing the competency-based curriculum, but they will defend CBC uh, since they are in support of the new curriculum. Last week, a petition filed through the Law Society of Kenya, President Nelson Harvey argued that the action by the Ministry of Education to implement the new curriculum is unlawful. Our senior education affairs reporter Sharon Baranga has more. Early Monday morning, parents' representatives from the 47 counties were held up in a closed-door meeting with leaders from the Ministry of Education to deliberate on the role of parents with regards to the competency-based curriculum. After the meeting, they arrived at a consensus. As parents, they were in support of the new curriculum that is gradually facing out the 844 curriculum. The Parents' Association says they are in the process of seeking to be enjoined in a case opposing the competency-based curriculum, but they will be defending the CBC. The petition against the new curriculum was filed through the Law Society of Kenya President, Nelson Harvey. We'll join the case and make our, 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 our values and our intention of uh, accepting CBC with its full benefits of giving our, our learners talent and nurturing our talents in, in our children and creating two opportunities for self-employment as parents of this country. Because what matters most to a parent is the safety and the future of the children. So we will not allow any busybody to take us back to a steam engine, 844. We had better go for an electric engine, which is skill-oriented CBC. To Peleke Kotini, we are going to meet you there. But I can assure you as a full back my mandate. And I think His Excellency must have also seen Mimi Nesurambaya Kidogo. So when I say Mpira Haipiti, Haita Pita. The Parents Association dismissed some of the assignments doing rounds on social media purported to have been assigned to pupils. Madare, Nairobi. Some, some, some young boys caught hold of grade 4 and grade 5 children hung them on the cross and took uh, uh, pictures purporting that this is CPC, CRE practicals. The, the, the intention was to spell the name of our teachers, teachers which is not the teacher. A teacher cannot do that. And these children were crying. He interrogated them. He's a member of Na um, Nairobi NPA. He interrogated those boys. And the boys were saying, you are paid by some bookseller, something like that. That's what they say. You know, it's so easy to, to oppose things, eh? But you have nothing tangible that is an alternative. Only to say, oh, 844 is not good enough. I was a headmaster for 10 years, and I can tell you 844 is completely hopeless. Because if you are going to be relying on one examination, which in most cases is corrupted through cheating. What have you done to the child? In CBC, it is not possible to cheat. Our interest actually, as said before, is our children. What will happen to our grade one, PP1, PP2, grade one to grade five children, a whooping seven million of them. What will happen to our children if the court will say, let's, let's revert to 844. Parents have been urged to assist their children in working on some of the assignments they are given in school and not do the homework for them. Sharon Baranga, TV 47.